Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and I do have the pleasure to present you the new Zenit DeFi Extreme watches. Subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Fasten your seatbelt for something new. We offer you the chance to win a priceless experience. New subscribers with an activated notification can win a watch manufacturer trip to Switzerland. Together with our partner Fontobel, we give away 10 all-inclusive trips worth a total of 50,000 Swiss francs. More details on watchadvisor.com. Furthermore, register there to double your chances to win. See you soon in Switzerland. The new DeFi Extreme. Three different cases are available. They are all the basic material is titanium. On your left side, where I'm pointing at, you have a microblasted and polished titanium case. In the middle, you have a microblasted uh, titanium case in combination with polished rose gold elements and on your right side you have a microblasted titanium case so a completely uh, case that more or less absorbs the light. Lots of variations are possible with the bracelets and straps they're all lying in front of you so each of the watches you see in the picture come with three straps or bracelets so um, the titanium version on the left side comes with the blue strap and a titanium bracelet and a velcro in the middle you have a velcro strap that comes with it the version in combination with rose gold comes with a titanium bracelet a rubber strap and the velcro strap and the microblasted titanium on the right comes as well with a titanium bracelet, a rubber strap and the Velcro strap. So three straps per watch. And now I will show you the watch in detail. So the character of the DeFi Extreme comes uh, from its sharp titanium case, uh, faceted and uh, carved like a boulder in a storm. We wanted to make the DeFi design even more futuristic and assertive. This is what uh, Sébastien Gobert, the designer at Zenit, told me. So what I would say is that this, uh, from an aesthetic perspective, the DeFi Extreme represents a kind of a supercharged DeFi uh, where the outlines and details are accentuated and further holistic details are integrated. Sharper lines, more pronounced edges and an overall silhouette that exudes robustness, resilience and a penchant of exploring new horizons, uh, if you wish to call it that way. It is a 46 millimeter case. The design is reinforced by the addition of components protecting the pushers, a screw down crown, ergonomics as well as durability are enhanced with a water resistance now of 200 meters, an impressive feat for a cutting edge chronograph with a see-through case bottom. That's true. One of the DeFi Extreme most striking elements is the 12-sided ring placed under the basil with extends down to the 12-sided case back. Very nice. So now let's come to first details about the size. It is 15.4 millimeters. The diameter already mentioned 46 millimeters and the lug to lug distance. So the distance from one end to the other end of the watch is 51 millimeters. If I really take this edge until this edge, then it's 51 millimeters. And if you are measuring underneath here to underneath here, somewhere it's less, some 48 millimeters maybe. So depending how you want to see it, but the entire 
length if you want to call it that way of the watch is 51 millimeters so um, the watch features a anti-reflective treated uh, sapphire crystal of course now then this is uh, i just said it because i was looking into the, my camera screen and i said wonderful this is how it should be because there are no reflections and you can perfectly see the scenery underneath um, what else you uh, have this um, protection for the huge crown it's a screwed in crown of course and you have this huge protections for the crown with the push pieces to start stop and reset the chronograph let's start the chronograph haha <laughs> what happens yes this is uh, the new Zenit movement uh, enabling the um, measurement or the possibility to take or uh, measure one hundredths of a second. This is a new generation of movement Zenit is offering and it's a, uh, yeah, looks good. If you have a close look, very, very nice. I love it. It's, yeah. If, if you're questioning now the use, <clears throat> is there a use to measure one hundredths of a second? Probably not, because I think uh, the time um, when you uh, see an event or, you, or, you are, or your brain or your eyes or your ears notice the start of an event until your brain um, yeah, takes care of the information and uh, transforms all the information to the fingertip and, and until you push that start, stop, push piece i think there will be a yeah considerable delay already so um for precision or for precision timekeeping probably not but for the fun and for yeah the way of yeah it can be done it is has been done this is really a very very cool thing and of course since the center second hand makes one entire turn in one second you need a sub dial that will show you the seconds this is the uh, second counter it is counting the seconds and the dial the sub dial at three o'clock is the minute counter and on uh, the position of nine o'clock you do have the running second of the watch how is zenit doing this there are two escapements in there of course there is a classical escapement um, with um, uh, 5 hertz movement, 36,000 semi oscillations, and if you look here, you can see the balance wheel. That's the balance wheel of the regular or the escapement belonging to the watch. And the second escapement oscillates at 360,000 semi oscillations per hour, 360,000 semi oscillations per hour, or 50 hertz. And this is also there, you need an own power source. And this is what I will show you now. If you look on the dial here, you have a power reserve indication and this power reserve indication belongs to the chronograph and not to the watch. You see that now I have not been winding it uh, so I can wind it in front of the camera. It's, um, yeah, let's say half full now. And when you unscrew the huge crown, this is what I'm doing right now, um, you then have the possibility um, to either change the time settings here and then you have the possibility to wind the watch. In this position, you are winding the watch, the barrel that delivers the energy to the escapement, the five hertz escapement. And in the other direction, now please watch closely to this hand on, on your screen. You will see this hand now uh, when I wind and you have a different haptical response coming from the movement when you are winding the chronograph. And you can see that I'm winding the chronograph now until it is full and there's also one nice thing once it is fully wound there will be a haptic response also coming from the movement telling you okay you're done we have now uh, full energy uh, there's enough of energy being put to the barrel by your fingers so then you screw the crown again uh, big one with the Senate star on it 
and you're ready to restart the chronograph. Here you are once again looking at this central second hand making a one entire turn in one second. Are you interested in the Swiss watch industry? Check out Fontobel's latest Swiss watch industry outlook on fontobel.com slash watches. What you see now on the screen is the escapement wheel um, that oscillates at a speed of 360,000 semi-oscillations per hour or 50 hertz. Um, the watch is stopped and I have no idea if I'm, if I'm starting the chronograph now, if we are able to see this. It, yeah, I think at least on my little monitor on my camera, I saw something. So I think you should see it also on your screens. I stopped it again. And this is the little balance wheel um, that is hacking the seconds, the one hundredths of a second. And then, yeah, hacking the energy that comes from the barrel, the linear energy and delivering the information through a gear train uh, to the central second hand that will then swipe over the dial in a really huge uh, speed. And here underneath, this is the escapement wheel, the five hertz of the movement that will uh, yeah, hack the seconds and then accurately show the time. And it is worth to mention that the movement is chronometer certified by Swiss Cosk. Now comes the fun part. Of course, I've been always showing you the one movement or the one case um, with uh, the Velcro strap, but I will now play around uh, with some combinations. And here you see this super smart and clever mechanism uh, to attach uh, the strap or bracelet. You have uh, two um, holes and a construction with a push piece. There's a button and I will show you this when you push. You can see the movement. You see there's a kind of, it's not a spring bar, it's kind of a bar in there. Yep, and you see this and you see here the construction. You can see this, yep. And what you need to do is you go in there, click and it's done. Very easy and if you want to Open, you push on the black button here and it's opened. That's so easy, that's really so cool. And uh, yeah, whatever you want to uh, put on there, same here, um, same mechanism, you just slide in. Um, I just have to look, yep, there you go. So easy and you can change. And here is the titanium. A micro blasted titanium bracelet, same same procedure. You just clip it in, and this is all you have to do. So easy, so smart, and um, gives this watch really, uh, yeah, the possibility you can change. You are the boss. It's not the company telling you what you want to buy, you have to buy, or need to buy. You change. And as I just said, all the watches come with free straps and uh, two straps and one uh, bracelet and now I will start playing around and show you different variations. So this is the completely micro blasted uh, version as we discovered it already and now the micro blasted titanium and rose gold elements. Uh, so you have the ring. The ring here is in rose gold uh, the crown protection, the extension of the push pieces is in rose gold and yeah, some of the components of the dial are also 
uh, at least colored in rose gold. So you have very nice, let's say the, the, the color of the rose gold element is being taken by some elements on of the movement. So let's also start here. You see one hundredths of a second. Uh, the center second hand is making one complete turn in one second as well. And I have been choosing Yes, D, this is the difference also to, I will open up, so don't worry, I will show you this in a much better, from a much better angle, of course. So I just wanted to show you this is the bicolor um, version with the uh, micro blasted titanium bracelet, folding clasp to open up. There is no micro length adjustment. So you cannot adjust the length. It is a folding clasp with a double security. You need to push both of those push pieces to open, but you cannot adjust the length. This must be done by um, taking off or putting in one of these uh, elements. They're screwed in with screws. You can clearly see them on your screen, but there is no um, possibility to do this uh, through the clasp. This is the difference uh, from the back side. I, I thought I'd take off both of the bracelets or strap. You can clearly see the uh, completely uh, microblasted version has a blackened rotor and of course retaking the rose gold elements. The other version on the left side has a uh, yes, rotor in, uh, in a rose gold color and as I said before, some of the bridges and parts of the movement do also uh, yeah, correspond to this color. I'm turning it here, you can see this. And this is both a Zenit star, the rotor of the watch, it's the Zenit star. To conclude, this is the blue version of the rotor in uh, the polished and micro blasted uh, case. This is the third uh, possibility you have. The hands are not adjusted. I need to put them back and make them smile at you. There we go. That's how I always do it. Same, you have the big crown, you have the crown protection. Everything is the same. You have here the crown protection, etc. etc. Let's Screw down, and of course, if you start here, watch closely. Yep, same here. One hundredths of a second being displayed also here. And since some parts and elements are blued, like the ring of the minute counter and some elements of the uh, main plate of the movement, so you do also have, of course, that blued rotor in this case and some more elements of the movement being blued. That's a DLC coating that has been applied on top and you can once again, that's a nice angle, you can once again here see this is the escapement of the movement of the timekeeping of the hour and minutes, 5 hertz. 36,000 semi oscillations, and once again, this is the escapement of 360,000 three six zero 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 semi oscillations power. It's incredible, really incredible. Let me stop it. It's a little bit tricky monitoring everything through my little monitor here in front of the camera. Um, now, start. Yeah, you can see it. Start, stop. So this is the other case. The 12-sided ring and also here the 12-sided ring.
So let me play around here a little bit uh, with the strap. Um, the watch comes also with that rubber strap and you see here the rubber strap has a folding clasp. You fold with a pin buckle and uh, you clip it on. That's the strap that comes with it and it's easy to clip it on. It's always the same procedure. You have the mechanism. There it is now focused. And you clip it in, there you go, you take it, same here, you clip it in and there you have the DeFi Extreme with the blue rubber strap, nicely looking, yes, 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 I did lots of pictures, I filmed lots of pictures of it in different light conditions, so you should be able to discover the entire beauty of those watches in different light conditions. And if you are fed up, it's, oh no, I need a change. I want a partly polished and partly um, blasted, micro-blasted titanium bracelet. No big deal. You just take it off. Let me show you. You take it off. The only thing you always have to figure out is there is the Zenit logo either on the clasps or the pin buckle. And you just have to figure out that when you clip it in, that you see it on the correct side. So we do this. You go here, clip in, same here, clip in, that's all. And now you have a total different watch as you see in the picture. That's not the same watch, you can see. And if I need a Velcro, okay, let's go for the Velcro, why not? Let's go for the Velcro. Since these are all still prototypes, I didn't get yet the appropriate, um, what is it? This is where you slide in the part of the Velcro. So if you get the one with the partly polished and partly polished and more brighter color, you will not get this. Of course, you will get a matching color. But um, yeah, very easy. That's really fun. You just clip in. Let me show this again. Click. So easy. Really, really easy. Click. And look, you have a total different watch again. Velcro. You slide in here. You go through here. You fold. Sorry for my hand. You fold and then you close. And then you have this clearly hear it, Velcro, and I can show it here on the camera, there it is, here you see, reflecting with some light, you can see it, and you close it, and you have a completely different looking DeFi Extreme once again, and all the watches, to make that uh, clear, come with three options, always with the titanium bracelet, and two options, a rubber and the Velcro. So how heavy is this watch? This depends, of course, on the combination you are choosing. Um, let's take the microblaster titanium version that is in front of you with the rubber as it is here with the folding glass, 138 grams. If you would add the bracelet, the micro-blasted uh, titanium bracelet, you would come to 152 grams and if you wear it with the Velcro, it's 113 grams. Um, the watch, the combination micro-blasted titanium and polished rose gold uh, with the uh, micro-blasted titanium bracelet weighs 163 grams with the rubber strap, the combination gold and titanium with rubber has a weight of 149 grams and with the Velcro the weight will be 125 grams and if we take the brushed, polished and micro-blasted titanium version, depending how you choose it, if you're wearing it uh, with the matching titanium bracelet 151 grams with the rubber strap it is 136 grams 
and with the Velcro 113 grams. So it's approximately in between 160 the maximum with the combination rose gold and uh, titanium and gets down to 113 grams. The loom shot is next, so what do you think? Will we see lots of uh, yeah, light uh, coming, uh, from, uh, from, coming from the dial in the dark? Yes, look how massively uh, Zenit has been applying on the indexes and on the hands, super luminova, and it will be spectacular. I don't think I promised you too much. This is how the DeFi Extreme looks like. When uh, the Superluminova is charged with uh, light sufficiently during the day and then when it gets into dark environment, so really perfect readability, there is heavily being applied Superluminova on the hands and on the indexes. Nicely looking, of course, yep, very nice indeed. Have you asked yourself how it is possible that the indexes and the subcounters literally fly over the movement, over the caliber. Um, yeah, that's not a miracle, of course, and there is no new technology applied uh, to specially hold those indexes. No, 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 it's a tinted sapphire with three black colored counters. So uh, Zenit has uh, done a sapphire uh, dial, a see-through dial, if you want to name it like this. So you have the view on the different parts of the movement as on the escapement I said before. The escapement that uh, belongs to the watch, 5 Hz escapement and some other parts, but it is a sapphire crystal and there is there are no miracles. So these indexes are not flying and are not held by any yeah, special construction. It's a sapphire crystal. Very nicely done and yeah, Congratulations uh, to this little detail also of uh, belonging to the new DeFi Extreme. I'm trying, it's difficult to show this in the camera, very difficult. Yeah, now you can see, now, now there's a possibility you can see it. If you look here, there are some reflections coming, but these reflections do not come from the uh, anti-reflected anti-reflective treated um, sapphire crystal of the watch, but from the sapphire crystal that is underneath. If you look and then you can see, and this is the proof, there is one. And as I just said, no miracles, but a nicely done see-through dial. The brushed, polished and uh, micro-blasted titanium on the left side and the microplastic titanium on the right side, including three steps, are sold for 17,600 euro, including attention 20% VAT. So if you want a net price, please deduct 16.666%. And the polished rose gold and microblasted titanium version is sold for 21,600, always including free combinations um, of straps and bracelet. I'm very curious already to read your thoughts about this uh, stronger, bolder, more powerful design than it has offered here. I saw, yes, some similarities with some existing designs, of course, but uh, yeah, let's Let's uh, see it clearly and uh, yeah, be honest, uh, none of uh, these companies uh, has uh, reinvented the wheel. It is difficult to um, play around with sizes and you have certain possibilities to add size 
yeah, this is this crown protection. Yes, of course, they they remind me of the Royal Logo offshore watches. Then you have, of course, some elements uh, here that could remember you of the Laureato of Gira Perigo. Yes, it's possible. Of course, you can always find something um, that is similar or you have already seen before. But uh, yeah, end of the day, this is a, they dare, they do something. They now have really pushed the entire line um, to um, say, okay, we make an extreme watch, call it DeFi Extreme. And yeah, it is a watch that is yeah probably for people seeking for something really bold on the wrist, a strong statement on the wrist. And by offering the possibilities to play around with all the, that combinations of bracelets and uh, straps, I think it is a cool watch you can really choose upon your personal taste, daily mood. You can choose to wear it, Velcro, rubber or titanium bracelet. So it's, yeah, nice, a cool thing to have. 100, yeah, that's, I have to show that again. Look at it, I love it. I can't stop watching this central second hand turning around with that Speed. I've been talking in one second, so. but it's crazy. It's really crazy. Absolutely. And you can, if you want, you can read the one hundredths of a second. Of course, there is a graduation here at the Royal of the watch. You have a graduation that enables you the reading. So it's not just a fun object. Of course, it is a fun object, but seriously done because, of course, there's a graduation um, and you can read the one hundredths of a second. Always, of course, think about uh, the delay uh, you have once you noticed um, an event starting either by yeah, the sound of uh, a sound or uh, visually your brain, uh, yes, is um, yeah, giving the information to your fingertip. The fingertip is waiting and then you start or stop. I would be curious to know from your side, what do you think, how much of a delay we human beings do have on an average? Maybe you have an idea. I have no idea and I don't know how to. Yep, let's start it again. Oh, so cool. I love it. Yeah, you could watch, you could watch this central second hand all day long. <laughs> okay, um, looking forward, as I just started to say, um, to read your comments about design, watch, is it still okay to make such bold and big watches? Um, is there a need for, do you see a need? Do you see clients? Do you see customers for it? How do you feel about them? Just let's share opinions and yeah, let me know what you think. Here's the last views on the dial. I pick a second one so we can see. Oh, I love it. Makes me addicted to watch this central second hand. Swiping over the dial in the speed, in that speed. Wing. Okay, thanks for watching the video. This was the DeFi Extreme. Uh, and yeah, see you soon back here on Watch Advisor on YouTube. Have fun and stay safe and sound. Hey, have you packed your luggage? If not, do so. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell you will get the chance to win your exclusive trip to Switzerland.